Jeez, Louise. That is loud. Even the title sequence is terrifying. All right, until dawn. So hello and welcome to Once Upon a Quest. My name is Emma. Uh, for the next few weeks, I'll be playing Until Dawn to get into the Halloween spirit. Um, yeah, I like I do like a good scare. I like to be afraid. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I enjoy the thrill of it, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to play this. And then after this game, I'm probably going to play a Plague Tale Requiem when that comes out because I can't wait for that to come out. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy Until Dawn. I don't know anything about this game. I know it's kind of more cinematic narrative, like it'll be kind of like playing through a film, I think. I could be wrong. I really don't know anything about it, but um, I'm excited. So let's just go. Let's start. Okay, new story. Yeah. Here we go. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Very ominous. I already love the sound design and it's only like the intro. The smallest decision can... Shit, that went way too fast. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Yeah, I think we would be able to like save people or cause people to die and stuff like that. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, mistakes are going to happen for sure. There's always a sinister, snowy cabin in the woods, isn't there? I'm looking for shadows. Yeah, that was what I was waiting for. So I'm waiting for something scary to come in the foreground. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge... Hang on, I'm just going to see if I can turn on... Subtitles? Okay, I might have to wait until we're out of this cutscene and then I'll turn on the subtitles. Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Like, the graphics look so good. Okay. What's happening? Network error. I don't need to be connected to the internet though, do I? Okay. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Why are they all hiding? Are they just pranking this girl? Mike? It's Hannah. Oh, they're being really mean. weekend it sounded like he had a lot of like weapons or traps or something like rattling around on his back or something <laughs> josh hang on josh before anything else happens let me see if i can turn on some subtitles there we go okay uh subtitles are now on um sidebar text what is that overlay text for written material yeah, I'll just enable that. I can always turn it off if I don't want it. But Okay, let's go find out if Josh is alive. 
Can I look around? Kind of. Can't really free control the camera. Um, Josh, are you alive? Is this Josh? Josh? Okay, use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Okay, okay. So, okay, so this, what's this? Press and hold R2 to pick up the bottle. Okay. And then, oh, wait, Jeez, what did that say? Once again, brother, you've outdone us mm. all. I think I let go of R2 too soon. Maybe that's what happened. Uh, I think, anyway. Okay, so let's try that again. Press and hold, and then hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay, and then letting go of R2 puts it back down. I get you. What else can I inspect? A letter? A note? Oh here, Hannah. You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you uh, bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest guest room at two AM. Mike. Oh kiss my kiss God. kiss. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Sister, okay. So Josh is her brother? Hannah's her sister? And this is Mike. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. But isn't everybody else like hiding oh, she's taking her in shot. the room? What? Yeah. Oh, it's my so God. awful. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all gonna happen. Just a stupid prank. Uh, Oh, That's not very nice. Jerks. You know that? Hannah! Oh, he had a GoPro. Is he gonna film? Ew, what were they planning on doing? Uh, okay, use right right stick to choose. What am I choosing? What am I choosing? What am I choosing? Oh, oh, uh, find others or wake Josh. Wake Josh, wake Josh! No, <laughs> wake Josh! Wake up! Josh! There's somebody! Josh. Oh my god, I'm already scared because I hate being chased. There's someone outside. What the hell? Everyone's going. Anna! Why is everyone running outside? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. Oh no. What Hannah's gonna do? be the first to go. Listen around, Dad. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So after her you know I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now Mike press the correct action oh, button okay, okay 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 I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready square <laughs> yeah, uh, fast safe fast I should probably should have oh, triangle I probably should have gone for safe but we want to find her before this murderer person gets there first. I mean, this is such a bad idea. We're totally gonna be the first ones to die. <laughs> Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Follow f f follow noise. Follow f uh, footprints. Okay, nice deer. Nice deer. <laughs> Maybe, Where are you? maybe the murderer has gone into the house while we're running around outside, so maybe we're actually safe out here in the woods. As long as the deer don't eat me. I thought she was about to take a selfie. Use the touch pad. Oh, I'm swiping the unlock on the touch pad. That's funny. Hannah! That's cute. Okay, okay. Direct the light beam... Aha, aha, with right stick. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Oh, I like this. This is relatable. Turning the torch on in your phone. Okay. 
to go look for someone. Hannah, where are you? Hannah? Oh my god, she's just... <laughs> That's gonna be the first jump scare of probably many. Hold L1 to walk faster. I tell you now, it's gonna take me a while to get used to these controls. They're very, very different. Very, very different. Oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Is that a phone? Is that what is that? What is that? A statue? Oh, it's Oh, it's um premonition thing. Death totem. Or one. Or one. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Totem prophecies. Black death. The possible death of the person who finds it. Is that for me? Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. So was that vision I just saw of the future or of the past then? Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. So it's saying it will unlock a potential future event, but then it's saying the events of the past will become clear. So I've played... I've played Man of Medan, which had a similar thing. I don't know if it's created by the same people or not, but that had a premonition thing kind of like that worked like this. Um... Oh, well, what is this? Okay, black. Yeah. Okay, so I found the first black death totem piece. The next one is guidance. Brown loss, the potential loss of a friend. So guidance, a vision of guidance for future choice. Also a death of a person who finds it. So is that vision of my death? But I saw glasses coming off, so I thought it was a vision of Hannah. I'm not sure. Okay, the potential loss of a friend. Red is the threat of future danger. And then white is prophecy of good fortune. Okay, I wonder how many white ones we're going to find. Okay, we can inspect this. So, because isn't that Hannah with the glasses? Uh, found on the mountain by Beth. Mystery man. Okay, we don't have any clues yet. Oh, what is all of this? There's so much in this. Any of your business? Rats with bushy tails. What is all this stuff? Okay, Beth character traits. Aha, uh -huh, curious. Okay. Um, and there's all the relationship status. Okay, so she looks like she's closest with Hannah and Josh. Okay, okay. Okay, so where else can we go? What is that noise? Is it just the wind? Oh, this is a terrible idea. Beth, you should have stayed in the house. <gasps> oh my god, why is there fire? Why is there fire? Why is there fire? I'm sorry, but why are there pyrotechnics in the woods? Is that a person? What is that? 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 Oh, it's Hannah. Hello? What are you doing? Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah, is that it? Yes. <laughs> this is not just like a regular murder murdering dude, is it? There's something else weird going on here. <gasps> oh no, my phone! Or Beth's phone. Oh, Jesus Christ. No! No! Shit! Get back! 
It's got red vision? Like what? Oh, oh. That's the premonition we just had of falling. Hold on! Hold on! Oh my god, Jesus Christ. No, wait, drop Hannah or let go. Wait, what do you mean? Let go, let go, let go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so does that mean Beth died? Did Beth, Beth hit the rock, right? Because she gave Hannah her jacket. Hannah was wearing the pink jacket. Wow, they don't waste any time getting straight into it in this game. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Oh, it's that guy. No the actor. What happened last year? The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom this revelation everything you do every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future i want you to remember this i want you to remember this as you play your game every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you why is he so close to me <laughs> so you have committed to commence with this game this is significant Mm -hmm. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? Great. All right. We will start He's so with creepy. Could okay. Could you please pick up cart? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Can I look at the cards? Okay, scarecrow. And there's a barn. Okay, I mean, it's a nice picture. It's just the scarecrow looks a bit creepy. And maybe there's a storm coming. That's about it. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, well, it def it's not make me happy anyway. It's Honesty is uneasy. Good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The fact that you're sitting so close to me. <laughs> the scarecrow, obviously. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Uh, yeah, sure. If there's no creepy scarecrow, huh. it's just a, a barren in a field. What if I told you? That this cottage was haunted. <laughs> uh, I'd be scared. <laughs> oh. Like if I had to stay on my own and you told me it was haunted. From a significant fear of of the supernatural. What lies beyond hey. the veil of death is after all the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty. Please remember, this is only a game. I can see every pore on his face. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. Oh, hooray! Back to the scary we'll talk woods. Very soon. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. You have no sense of personal space. Okay, this is this is similar to Man of Medan where you have like the conversations with the curator. So I think it is made by the same people.
maybe. Liking the music, so good. Oh, Hayden Panettiere. Oh, she's the uh, she plays that blonde girl. Then I thought she looked familiar. Rami Malek is in this. Oh, I wonder when this game was made. This is a very cool intro. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, they the were Washington twins. I didn't realize they were twins. Lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. So did we both die? Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves... Oh, this is Hayden. Kind of cheer. about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anne. With all the Washingtons tonight, with our son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. This is Josh. Okay. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. That's Rami Malek. I know, yeah. you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know. Um, Are they going it means, back? It means so much to me that the we're same doing place. This. Are we going back to the same place? I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of that. Oh no! Oh no! I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For for the sake of my sisters and oh that's right you know. he's okay, their brother so let's Jeez. party like we're fucking porn oh, stars that's so okay sad. make this one trip we will never forget all right yes <laughs> well, this game is beautiful looking and i'm loving the sound design it's so good Jason Graves, original score. <laughs> I'm so into it. I'm so glad I picked this game. Blackwood Pines. We're back, baby. One year after Han and Beth fell off a cliff. But maybe... Memento Mori, 10 hours until dawn. Maybe Hannah survived. Because 
Beth saw the premonition. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there he is again. What's this character's name again? The blonde girl? Um, Sam. Oh, Sam, Hannah's best friend. Okay, okay, okay. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Hello? Sam, why are you on your own? Mm, path to cable car station. Okay, let's just keep walking, Sam. <laughs> okay, this message scared me. You can use the right stick to move the camera. Yeah, got it. Look around. Oh yeah, we can inspect the key or the lock on the gate probably. The gate's busted. Climb over. Wait, who wrote this note? What? Chris. <sighs> Damn it. From, what is this? From Josh Washington. Sent December 2014 to Chris. Subject or e directions. Vancouver Central. Change at terminus. Then take 38 towards Calgary. Ask driver to stop at Blackwood Pines. Otherwise he won't. From Chris to Josh. Yo, how do I get here again? So... 2014, okay. Now what is this thing on the wall? Oh, that's just a climb, okay. Uh, safe or quick? Let's do safe, shall we? Safe, I think. Ooh! <laughs> Forgot about the button, the button prompts. Uh, I don't know, jump! <laughs> <laughs> okay, getting used to them. Oh, the creepy breathing. <laughs> Why? Squirrel. Hey, little fella. When the don't move icon is on screen, keep the wireless huh? controller as still as possible. <laughs> Cutie. Okay, that's new. Don't move. So you have to be like... Uh, if you're unsure of what to next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, wow, she's quite, her relationship status is pretty even with most people. She likes Jess and Mike the least. Okay, it looks like there's quite a lot of clues you can collect. Okay, let's go over this bridge. Is this a bridge? No, it's just steps. Okay. That didn't scare me. No, birds flying all of a sudden. No, didn't scare me. <laughs> what is this sign? Oh, <laughs> cool. Oh, it's about the butterfly prophecies things. Uh, okay, so death. Black butterflies prophesies the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Lost brown butterflies foretold tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Yikes. Oh, oh, I found one. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and premonition of possible future. Okay, can I pick this one? This is yellow for guidance, right? So I can get something helpful. A bird. Someone in a stripy jumper and a bird. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the future is uncertain and whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Hmm. Okay. And then we can press R1 and look at the totems. 
Oh, that's cool that you could rewatch them here. So, okay, replay. Are they, are they, they're in a stripey, so are they a prisoner? Are they in chains or something? Not sure. Okay, we're almost at the house. So, is this the same house that we were in? No, is this a different house? Hang on, let's have a little look around outside. What does this say? The past is beyond our control. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do like the way in the game they kind of confront you with the breaking the fourth wall, like where they're telling you, like, by the way, the choices you're, you make are going to affect everybody. Just so you know. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. A phone. What do we have here? Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Answer it. Answer it. Snoop. Ashley. <laughs> Chris. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Hey, why does he look way older than everyone else? I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Is he older than everyone else? Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? He looks I'm not older. I tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Status update? What's that now? What's the status update? Oh, my honest went down and my curious went up, I think. I'm going to sneeze. Oh boy. Okay, let's follow uh, Chris, who looks twice my age. What's this? Can we read this? Wanted. Oh, clue found. Oh, look at this. Victor Milgram. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Six I two. So. I mean, oh, Chris is also pretty tall. <laughs> last known address: Blackwood Pines. Last seen 1998. Okay, and this is supposed to be 2014, isn't it? Okay, um, wanted in connection with first degree arson offence as well as various death threats. Hang on, I need to read this on the right because I can't see it. Um, anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary. Oh, Mounted Constabulary. Very cool. Police uh, Monte Provincial de Blackwood, July 1998. Victor Milgram. And it said he's wanted for arson charges and the guy had a flamethrower at the beginning of the game. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and increase your chances of survival. Wait, where did that information go? It just kind of went off screen before I finished reading. Uh, okay, so we can... Yeah, that's cool. We can go back and look at the clues. Okay. Okay, let's follow Chris. Where are we going, Chris? Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that what comes are we looking to at? mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Oh. Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Want to try? Yeah. Uh, no, yes, yes. Like... I do want to try it because I want to protect right. myself against this murderer. Here goes. I bet you he's really good. Oh, I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh, 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 does this mean we get to shoot in this game? Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Oh. Ooh. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, am I going to shoot the squirrel? I don't want to shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. I don't want to shoot the squirrel. Sharpshooter, butterfly, butterfly. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Was that Come was a on, white butterfly, Tris, no? Car. Was good fortune. Is that what happened on screen? Butterfly that was a white. Wait, hang on, hang on. Butterfly effect update. Wait, let's see. How do I see? Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Inspect. Okay. Nature remain in balance. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remain in balance. Okay, okay. So that was like a moment. And this, oh, her looking at the phone was, was, uh, a moment. Sam looked at Chris's incoming message. Chris was offended by Sam's indiscretion. Uh, to be fair, I thought the phone was ringing and we were looking for our friend. So it made sense to answer the ringing phone, I thought. But okay, sure, sure, sure. Let's go. Oh, I'm Chris now. Okay. All right, let's go, Chris, who's secretly 35. <laughs> Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. What else can we interact with? Is there anything? I don't know how like meticulous I need to be when I'm looking for clues and stuff. Hey, yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. We can we go in? After you. Oh, real snowboards. Yeah. Nice. Can we go on the snowboards? Must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know? Yeah. Hey, I think we can go in this room. Oh, here we go. What is this poster? What a crazy Blackwood place Pine. to set up house. Hotel no and sanatorium. Mountain. For a healthy body and mind. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get oh, so the CCTV works. How long is this gonna take? We're waiting to see someone. Come on, uh, is anything gonna happen? You gonna publish? We like, change to the other angle. Poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Huh? It's full on expecting to see creepy murderer guy on the CCTV. Oh wait, can we um? We can't do anything else with this, can we? No. Okay. I think that looks like it for this room. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Cool, let's go. Just like 
going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all <sighs> doing something. I feel like it's a terrible idea. Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact <laughs> Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, there, he, there it is. He just dropped it in. The butterfly effect. Also, still having a hard time believing that Chris was in the same year as them in school because, hey, looks, twice the rich. Okay, Chris, I think you're the murderer. Jess, 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 Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people, time to meet and greet. Jessica. So, who was Mike's... Was Mike going out with... Was Mike going out with Hannah before, or were they just kind of flirting, but then he played a prank on her before? I don't think they were actually girlfriend and boyfriend, right? <gasps> oh my god! Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Yeah, let him out. God, I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Uh -oh. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Oh, he's being weird. He's being so weird. Give it back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh... Yeah, I, I try not to do that, as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Mm. It is beautiful. It is a good looking game. That's for sure. Right where the cable car ends. Emily. Mike's ex. Okay. Emily is Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, ambitious, motivated, and active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Okay, so this is Matt, and I already forgot her name. Oh, Emily, Emily, Matt and Emily. 
I'm mass carrying the bags. <laughs> you know, I'm getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Who is that? Who is this guy? Oh, this is Mike. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Mike. You guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're yeah, all he got me good. Here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously? What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh, yeah, we're all friends here. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? He doesn't oh seem God, good. Totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Right. Nah, See I don't like this guy, Mike, at all. See ya! Oh, I really don't like him. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Uh, agree. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Oh no, have I just made a decision that means Emily's gonna die now because I left her alone? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, maybe I should have gone with her? Oh no. I guess this whole game is gonna be like this though, isn't it? Second guessing every, every decision. <gasps> Ashley has a cross has a crush on Chris and Chris has a crush on Ashley so they actually do like each other okay academic inquisitive forthright hmm Ashley okay what is she looking for whoa hello oh, who's that Emily and Mike he's getting a little friendly and not in the friend zone kind of way I might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. But they're just talking. They look like they're having an argument. They're not kissing or anything. I mean, he's touching her face and stuff. What are you guys doing? Oh! <laughs> what the <f> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, whoa. Hey, sorry there. Oh my sorry God, this game is going to be every jump scare. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Gosh, Mash, this is Mash. Hey, okay, wow. Emily's Man, boyfriend, Mash. Really sorry, Ash, Dan. Trying okay, to keep track of everyone. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, let me check it out. Oh uh, no, 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 it's nothing. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just what? <laughs> for real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Uh. Help yourself. Uh, sure. Help yourself. Oh. I mean, they're not doing anything. Okay, well, now they're hugging. <laughs> Seriously? They're just hugging. What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. There's no need to fly off the handle, okay? You could just ask her what she was talking about. It looked like to me they were having kind of an argument and then they hugged. Maybe there's something more going on, but we don't know for sure. Jessica! 
is up here waiting for Mike, right? Okay, check phone. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Mike. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Ground still up. Uh, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh shit! Woo! Oh! <laughs> Great. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Okay, we gotta practice our aim. <laughs> oh, ah, got him, got him, got him. Hey! Ah. Oh snap! Bird. Bird, was this from my premonition? <gasps> Hello? Come on. Hey, Mike! Ooh. Got him! <laughs> What's with the bird, though? <laughs> What's with the bird? Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't okay. hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Okay, so you can do nothing. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to hurt the bird. I can do nothing. There he is. Get him. Whoa! Oh. Right. Yeah. And then what? Oh. We're totally winning. <laughs> Oh, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Yeah, we definitely okay, won. that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Oh, you too. Oh, get her. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay it's out here. It's so cold, though. Ever, provided I was... I mean, it'd be so cold out here. Time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Yeah, get inside, get into a warm bedroom. Status update. Okay, what changed there now? She is less honest and less charitable. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, should probably stop it there now. the guy can we i'm gonna end the first episode here and we'll pick this up next time uh but yeah this game has got me really good with a few jump scares already uh it looks beautiful like the graphics are so so good and the sound design is amazing like i'm loving all of the sounds from the creepy heavy breathing in the bushes to the music and just like the the wind noises and us a lot of times with jump scares I find what really actually gets me the most is like a loud noise so like more so than seeing something if there's like a loud noise associated with something jumping out at me it's always the noise that actually makes me more like jump scared but yeah I'm enjoying this game so we'll pick this up next time and see what the dude the creepy dude guy has to say about our choices so far and uh, yeah so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode